In this video, we'll learn how to tape a paper correctly to the board and how to correctly use a T-square and triangles. When you're working with a completely blank sheet of paper, align its bottom edge with the T-square or parallel bar. If the paper has already drafted lines on it or pre-printed lines, line those up with the bar because they may not be exactly parallel to the edge of the paper. Once you've lined the paper up, tape it down on all four corners. If you're using a roll of tape as opposed to drafting dots, cut the tape so that it has clean edges. Ragged edges tend to roll up under the T-square. Know that drafting tape is like painter's tape, not masking tape. It has less stick, so painter's tape is actually a good alternative for drafting tape. To draw a horizontal line, always use the T-square. Do not take a straight edge and try to eyeball a horizontal line. It's common to take, for example, a scale and use it to draw a horizontal line. You're never going to get the line completely horizontal when you do that, or you won't be able to make multiple parallel horizontal lines. So always use the T-square. To draw vertical lines, Set the triangle right on the T-square and move it like this. Again, don't try to eyeball a vertical line. Always have it sitting on the T-square. When you want to measure a distance, measure it along a light construction line. For example, at the quarter inch scale, if I want to draw a line that is six feet long, I will mark it along an existing horizontal line. If I just mark it off on white space, the line may actually be angled instead of perfectly horizontal. And this applies when using dividers also. If I want to mark a distance, I'll mark it on an existing construction line. And that way I know that this line is perfectly horizontal.